This video is brought to you by Aloha Skateboards of Hawaii. If you live on the island of Maui, check them out. They have all your skateboarding, longboarding needs. They even have a bunch of cool hats, shirts, all kinds of stuff. If you need your uh, your skateboard, longboard worked on, they do all that. So come check them out in Maui, Hawaii. I'll put a link to their website in the description. What is going on, guys? Super excited for today. I am gonna do something crazy. I stay in a town called Kihei here on Maui, Hawaii. And um, it's a nice town. I love the town and everything. Um, but down the way, there's another town called Wailea. And Wailea is like the millionaire's town. A lot of super nice hotels, very resorty. A lot of millionaires go there. Uh, Michael Jordan has a house there, all kinds of stuff like that. There's even a hotel there that it is $4,400 per night. So it's definitely the like rich, exclusive part of the island. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go down and do a little shore fishing right from the rock points and stuff in Wailea in front of the resorts and everything. Now, obviously, I'm a little bit uh, <laughs> hesitant about that because I don't know what people are going to really be thinking about it. But um, so I'm going to kind of keep it low key. In fact, I have on me all I have with me is my little um, uh, travel fishing rod and a small reel so i'm going to kind of keep it low key but i have to imagine that the rock points and stuff in front of those resorts aren't fished that much so the fishing has to be great so that is my plan today i'm just going to go down and do some fishing in front of a bunch of really nice resorts Do you guys sell shaved ice? Yeah, I do. We got it back. I will take coconut and blue vanilla ice. Thank you. It's gonna be five ninety nine. Thank you. Before we start fishing, gotta have a snow cone. Mm. 
best six dollar snow cone I ever had. That was delicious. But let's get fishing. Where that shaved ice place was, um, the hotel behind it, I think that was the place where they have the $4,400 a night hotel room. Whoa. Look at this. It's like a tiny little beach away from the main beach right here. Check it. Oh, that's cool. And like nobody's on it. Come down here. Too many people to fish right here. But you come over here. <laughs> Look at this. This is sweet. I, I thought I was gonna have to do like a catch and cook on the rocks. Or maybe a little corner of the beach, but this is the best right here. Look, so you got all the people over there. And then I have my own little private private beach right here. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna fish right off this beach here uh, because uh, I was just too close to people and stuff. But you can see the rock point sweeps around there. So I'm gonna walk out on the rock point and see if I can, if it's accessible and I can fish from there. You have this nice, oh nice, even access. I have access, now there are a few snorkelers out right now, but if I walk over there, I'll be able to fish between these rocks and stuff. Oh yeah, beautiful fishing spot. Just putting together my little travel rod here. Just gonna kinda keep it low key today. All right, there we go. We just have a piece of fun on our reel with 12 pound test line and this ugly stick uh, GX2 travel rod. I always put links to everything in the description. In case you guys want to check it out all right guys here's what's up I got a black hair jig on there about a quarter ouncer and I just tipped it with a tiny piece of octopus and I have a six pound test leader uh, I asked the local what his favorite Papio setup was and he said black or white hair jigs are the best so let's try it oh there's a turtle right here Gotta make sure I don't hook into them. Look at him. <laughs> Alright, so nothing on that little jig. So I just have a little bobber with a piece of octopus. And let's see if I can score anything on this. Got one. Little guy. Oh, it's a crazy, uh, it's a wrasse, a really cool colored one. This guy's tiny, but look how beautiful this fish is. Look at that. Look at the blue and stuff on those fins. Isn't that cool? Little wrasse, too small to keep. Oops. There we go. Beautiful little fish. Well, oh, and he's gone. First catch of the day. There, a little piece of octopus on a bobber is kind of like a worm on a bobber in fresh water. It just catches everything. There are a bunch of whales really close out there. They're just playing in the water. I just saw the baby jump. got one it's a good one uh oh it's going right to the rocks oh it's a big trigger fish or a huma huma nuka nuka up or not quite that one but it is a trigger fish Look at that, that is cool. I have not caught one of these in a long time. Look at this fish, guys. This is the Hawaii state fish. Not quite this color, but this is the type. It has like a rough, just like rough jagged spots along its tail. 
cool blue color. I actually took the bobber off that time. I thought I'm gonna let it sink to the bottom. And uh, first cast. They call them trigger fish because they have like this hard like trigger up here on the top and one on the bottom. Look how beautiful that fish is. Cool. Unfortunately not edible, but a fun fight. And a beautiful fish. All right, let's try that again. I took the bobber off, let it sink to the bottom. And uh, that trigger fish bit before it even got to the bottom. We have some dark rain clouds forming up here. Looking a little ominous. Got it. Oh, it feels like a good fish. Yeah. It's dark. Oh, it's a trigger fish, another one. Oh, I think it's a pink tail trigger fish. Yeah, that's cool. Look at that. This, same kind of fish, same family. Just a little bit different kind. This is a pink tailed trigger fish. Oh, just barely hooked him. They have tough little mouths. There we go, hook came right out. That is amazing. Those fins. <laughs> Not edible, but a really cool fish. We got little chompers. Oh, there we go. Cool. Got him. Oh, it's a red goat fish. Huh. Cool, beautiful fish. Very edible, but a little small. Look at that guy. Look at those colors. Man, all of these fish are unbelievable. Has pur he has purple on his fins. That is so cool. Yeah, he's a little too small to keep and eat. I'll let him go. Man, um, I need to catch some edible. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm starving right now. I did not bring any food with me. I was just gonna eat whatever I caught. Now here's the kicker thing, guys. I just looked up online because I was kind of in desperation. I was like, I'm gonna look up, can you eat trigger fish? And you can. In fact, it said they are excellent eating. Um, oh, missed them. So, I let two keeper fish go, um, but it's whatever. I'll just hopefully catch another one, but I am seriously hungry. That one, ah. Uh, another little tiny wrasse. Boy, they smoke it. I mean, crush it. how pretty that fish is. This is called a wrass. W-R-A-S-S-E. Whoa! Oh, right into the pool. Perfect. <laughs> Quick release. Alright guys, so I, I've switched back to this hair jig, the black hair jig, and I put a little Dry Creek Outfitters Trophy Bass gel scent on it, uh, which is normally what I use for trout and bass in freshwater. Let's see if these, uh, reef fish take a liking to it because I have a lot of bites but I'm not hooking up as much as I'd like and there are some fish down here that keep popping up I got one got one got one right oh Nice! He just came... <laughs> that was fast! Wow, I guess that uh, gel scent worked. This is a... Oh, what are these called? I thought I knew the name of these one time and everybody corrected me. You know what? I think these are good to eat. You know, I'm gonna have to look up what these guys are again because I... I thought I knew. I thought they were scorpion fish. And I had some locals correct me. So uh, let me get on my phone real quick and I'll look up what this guy is. That is cool though. What I just read online is this is called a hawkfish. 
I used to think it was a scorpion fish, um, but it is not. I got led astray. They do have a lot of spines on them though. These are edible. In fact, they're considered a very excellent food fish. Uh, look at that. Oh, almost poked me. I'm gonna stick him in a tide pool. There we go. You know, I wouldn't mind trying this guy to eat. He's a little on the smallish side though. But at this point, I'm so hungry. You know, I'm gonna fish this a little bit more. Let's, we'll see if I keep him. Whoa. Something just came and just chomped off my um, jig. I, I didn't even feel the bite. Dang it. Well guys, it's starting to rain. So I may have to put away my cameras here. Find some shelter. All right guys, check this out. So except for that lady there and her dog, I have this whole beach to myself that was just a little bit ago crowded with people. Uh, the audio is gonna be a little bit bad because I have to keep the GoPro in the uh, underwater case. But check it out here. Got my nice little cave spot here. I can sit in here and look out over the beach. Um, I feel like quite the hobo actually right now. That's probably what people think I am as a hobo. But uh, anyway, let's get this fish cooked up. I have my Optimus stove, portable stove. I'm not gonna run through the setup of this thing again because I've made so many videos about that. Um, uh, so if you wanna see more detailed video of, of this little setup, I'll put a link to it in the description or a link to a couple of videos actually if you want. You can see how I set this up. Look at that, beautiful fish. Not a giant, but these fish don't get that big to begin with. Um, online it said to some people they're a really great delicacy, so this should be fun to try. All right guys, so we got our fish cleaned, and then some people left some trash here. Some beer. You can grab that. If you ever see trash on a beautiful beach like this, just pick it up. I don't know why people do that. Here we have this gorgeous beach. But. All right, so I'm in this little cave here and I got the fish finished. Not a huge morsel, um, but it will, should taste delicious. Um, hard one to scale. It took me a long time to scale it. Uh, because the scales were so hard on it. It's a little bit on the small side, like I say, but if it tastes good, we'll be fine. All right, should be warm enough. First thing we'll do is add the king of all flavors, butter. Got some nice butter rolling. Then we add our oops, fish. Ooh, that's a little hot. There we go. Just add it. I'm going to turn up the heat over here. There we are. Oop, still learning to cook with this thing. This is a tricky little setup. No, it's not tricky, it's just that I don't know yet, so it's tricky to me. Oh man, do that, do that fish brine. Then we shall add some salt. That side, and that side. Oh man, get down in all that butter. And we add some Cajun seasoning. I'm just keeping it salt, butter, and Cajun seasoning for now. I gotta kind of do this quick for my, I, I have plenty of time, but my cameras can't see well in low light. Well guys, the light's getting pretty low. I know you can't see me that well, but I'm gonna try this fish here. Just a little taste test. I'm probably gonna have to eat this in the dark. You guys can't really see it. 
Oh, there's a bone. Tastes amazing. It really does. Hawkfish. Hawkfish. He said some people consider them a delicacy. I'll bet people eat them for sushi. Mmm. Wow, the flavor on that fish is really good. Very, very good. Well guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. Uh, sorry it got dark on me. My camera just doesn't work that well in the dark. Um, but that's fine. Had so much fun today. Caught so many reef fish. Um, so many cool things. Saw whales, turtles, eels. So many beautiful specimens of God's creation. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you're new. And remember that I sell Octopus t-shirts for sale. Thanks for hanging out. See you guys in the next one.